Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope everyone's doing okay. Today, I've got an Asda haul. So I've spent quite a bit of money on this haul. <laughs> Not purposely, obviously. I went there for my shopping. So I've spent £145 and 15 pence on the stuff that I'm about to show you. I can't show you Ben's meal deal because he's currently eating his. So he had a chicken and stuffing sandwich, a fridge raider's little packet and a cherry pepsi max which actually might be in here i think he's got, a he's got a different drink at the moment um i also had a meal deal so i've got a coca-cola i've got a chicken salad they're my absolute favorite sandwiches and then i because they had no watches no chicken satties nothing like that so i ended up with a packet of skips great um but yeah so, I think we should just get into it, shouldn't we? So, as you all know, my daughter is sort of smitten with the royal family. Uh, so, for the king's coronation, she really wanted this dress that she saw. So, I don't know which one it is. I think it's that way. There you go. So, it's like a Union Jack little frilly dress. It is in like a size bigger than what she normally is. It, but this was £11 and it's sort of lightweight so it'll do for summer it's like proper frilly you know and she really loved it so yeah we got her that to be honest because she's sort of growing very fast um, I've actually brought her some clothes that were in the reduced section too so I don't actually mind buying some clothes at the moment because I've just sorted a wardrobe out so there's plenty at the moment to sort of room to put more in. Not that you should replace what you've got, but if you get what I mean, like I've four to five year clothing I've taken out of a wardrobe, any five to six clothing that don't fit her at the moment. So I've sort of got six or seven and above clothing to fit her at the moment. Um, that was the hanger to that. Put that there. So there is this that I picked up. I don't, I don't know why they add this sort of stuff. I know it's to protect the shoulders, but it really stresses me out. So, this. Sorry, I'm trying to show you. This is a knitwear. So, it's quite long. And it is a seven to eight year one. Um, so it's like a long jumper. Not a jumper dress. And not quite just a jumper. But like a long jumper. And instead of £12, that was just £6. So I thought if I put up for winter, because it'll soon be here again, guys. I know we haven't even approached summer yet, but it'll soon be winter again, trust me. So um, I've picked up that because I thought that was rather quirky. And push come to shove, like, you know, you can always put it up for that birthday because it's seven to eight years. I could even put it into like a Christmas pile or birthday pile. I'm probably not going to. <laughs> But I could. Uh, I've brought these joggers. So these are six to seven. It's supposed to be seven pound down to four pounds. So there's just some light pink joggers, which I thought, well, look really smart. I picked up this t-shirt, which is six to seven years. It says, be bold, be bright, be you. Some cheetahs and like a rainbow on. That instead of four twenty five was just two pound, but you can't grumble at that, can you? And then I picked up this. When I scanned it, it did come up at boys, but I don't know. I think I, both genders could wear that, really, couldn't they? It's not really a thingy top, is it? It, but this is from the Smiley World Company. So obviously they've collabed with Asda, well George, and uh, that top was supposed to be £8 and it was £5 instead. So it says, live your own story and then all these smiley faces, which she loves, stuff like that. So yeah, that's those ones. I do have some more somewhere. Because I've gone through Scala's wardrobe, I've actually got rid of quite a lot of like pyjamas and things like that. So... I've got a couple 
of packs of drama here. So I'll show you these ones first. So these are six or seven years, and these were supposed to be twelve pound down to six. And you get a cloud pair, and you get a rainbow pair. Now, obviously, you could wear the cloud pair together, the rainbow pair, or you could mix and match them. That's how these ones normally go into it. But I thought for six pound for a couple of pairs of jammers, that's really, really good value. Going to TK Maxx and things like places like that, and the one set of jammers is like five, six quid on its own. Do you know what I mean? Lidl, for instance, same price, sometimes more. I also picked up these. So these are two nightshirt sets. So basically just like nighties. So this was supposed to be nine pound and instead we paid four pound for two lots. I don't know if they're the actual sizes because I didn't actually open them and find out. Should we find out? The I got these in eight to nine years, mainly because Sky likes a bit of extra length because she likes to go commander. So, these are definitely eight to nine years. So for four pound for two nighties, you know, the really good quality, you know, not proper nice lightweight sort of nighties. And if it's like cold spring, you've got long sleeves. I don't know if they're both long sleeves. Cause it doesn't, on here, it's like, short sleeves so i didn't even realize that they were long sleeve to be honest do you see again i could put these up if i really wanted to no they both say it long sleeve there we go that one says love to sleep but again for four pound you know you went to charity shop or whatever you couldn't even get you for that do you know what i mean you might as well just pick them up but as you can see there's a couple of sort of tops pair of trousers 90s and they were all really good value it's not like it, they were over the top price they were really good value and then last but not least my daughter likes our last surprise so instead of five pound these were four pound i know it's only a pound saving but a pound's a pound isn't it and these are size 12 so these will last her for well hopefully another six months you know she loves slippers and shoes and anything that goes on her feet. So, bargain. <laughs> Anywho, that is, I think, the clothing side of it done. I don't know if any of you remember, but I was also saying before that I'd love to get a blender because when we had the kitchen renovation, we threw out our old blender because it didn't work at all anymore, which was sort of passed down to, to us from my mum. Um... It worked perfectly when she had it. I just sort of touch things and they break. Uh, but yeah, so we had to get rid of that. But we found in Asda this for £18. So it's a 1.5 litre jug blender. So as you can see, it's quite a big one. You get a two year warranty with it. And it's got two speeds, a pulse function, detachable, a detachable measuring cup and lid and an interlocking base. So this is perfect for smoothies, juices, milkshakes. Cause I said to Ben, cause he was gonna get like, do you know one of them proactive things that you can get like, you just screw it on, <clears throat> done. And um, I wanted a jug one because when we make milkshakes, right, I can never, ever, ever get a perfect amount for me, Ben and Skylar. So I thought with a jug blender, I'm more likely to actually get it. And this one was the last one on the shelf. I even looked all up the appliances. It was the last one there. And I thought, do you know what? 18 pounds, you know, I couldn't leave it there. So we finally, guys, got a blender. That means milkshakes, smoothies, videos, and everything like that coming, you know. I'm so excited. But anyway. One bag down. Before I even got into it, that's one bag down. Here's it, Ben's Juice. Well, that's Cherry Pepsi Max, isn't it? Sorry about that, guys. So anyway, back into it. We've also managed to pick up this M&M's cake. So this was supposed to be 
well, it says nine pounds, but on the shelf these were eighteen. So obviously it's been reduced down to nine pound, and then it's been reduced down again to four pound ninety five. So I thought, well, why not? As a treat, why not? That'll look perfect. Well, it'll taste perfect. I know that much. You know these little tiny cakes you get now, like they they're like three quid on their own, aren't they? Why not get a big cake, you know, share it. If you don't eat it all, pass it on to family, you know. I've also got some 50-50 bread. Call me a cheapskate. But it was reduced down to 58p from £1.30. And it's still squishy. There's nothing wrong with it. So as long as I can get things reduced and they're still okay, I do not mind. Things like that you can put in the freezer anyway. We've also got some wholemeal rolls, which again was 52p down to 23p so there in case we have like some sort of chicken baps wedgies that sort of thing i even <laughs> managed to get myself some white like thick bread like mega thick bread we can't sit like this that would be perfect for toast um that was 135 down to 61p so again can't go wrong here are these uh, coronation flags. We all know who these are for. You get four in a pack. So, um, yeah, I'll probably just, I don't know. Wave your flag, you know. Skylar really wanted these flags, so we got them. Next bag. Ben's really obsessed with these Nutri-Brain chocolate bar things i don't know these are one pound fifty each some tubes these are i think they were one pound twenty or one pound thirty so does anyone remember when you used to get like fridge magnets and stuff in these me and ben were also on about how for years and years and years and years because ben says oh you like them buggle crisps don't you and i was like no, I don't like them Buggles crisps, no. And then it clicked in while we were in there. I was like, aren't they basically like Walker's brand of... Do you remember Wheaties? I'm going to try to find a picture and try and insert it or something. But there was a brand cut for... I think it was Golden Wonder and they were Wheaties. Ben said that they were Golden Wonder too. And they were like little like tube crisps. My favourite were like the meaty beef ones with the barbecue. Honestly, like, I completely forgot about them until we were in the shop earlier. And I was like, oh my God, like, where have they gone? Like, they just disappeared. It's like discos, they're hard to get hold of now, aren't they? Proper going there on some sort of retro mission there. Take it all me. Uh, I've also picked up some fragrance plastic free baby wipes you know when Skylar gets all mucky wipe her face you know or when she has nosebleeds and you need to hold her nose oh did I tell you we took her to the park and Skylar thought it'd be a good idea to run on concrete and went over again on her nose and had another nosebleed so if you do see it and she's got like little scratches on her nose that is why <laughs> I don't know what else to do apart from like bubble wrap her up. She just bounces everywhere, like constantly bounces. Anyway, corned beef, £1.90 I think this was. And I've brought this to have in for like corned beef hash. It's a weekend rather than like ordering takeaway. I have like a really hearty meal. Veggies, you know, gravy, mint sauce. I've um, also got some red onions, so I brought these because I like red onions and I'm going to make a coleslaw, I think, because I love coleslaw, but the ones you get into the shop, oh, sorry, out of the shop are so expensive. So I'm going to make my own, but I've also brought these for fajitas too, because I prefer red onions over brown onions because it's just much sweeter. That's what I think anyway. They were 65p and the baby wipes, I think, were 70p. I wanted these chocolate lollies. These were a pound for three. I think it's that Kinnerton brand. Yeah. You know where you have them, the advent calendars from. 
these the cheeky gets on the shelf these say 50p if they were 60p at the checkout but a cheese and ham pasta i'm sick of having cheese and broccoli let's change it up another cheese and ham these were two pounds some fridge raiders scarlet really wanted them got some iceberg lettuce that was 70p you get the virtually the same amount of weight in that as you did the iceberg lettuces that were there it's already shredded you know it's much easier to do a salad put it on a burger Skylar really 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 wanted this cheese and tomato pizza because it was little so she had a cheese and tomato pizza snack pizza it says um i've brought this for my dishwasher so it says a dishwasher freshener and it says that it was supposed to be a pound down to 62p apparently it expires today i'd love to know how it expires you know but you just hang that up in your dishwasher and it just releases a fresh smell we could all do with a fresh smell couldn't we uh fajita seasoning mix so this is the smoky barbecue mix so I've picked that up because I currently have the wraps already in. So I have the wraps, I've got I've brought chicken, I've got onion and I've brought some peppers somewhere. Well, I'll find them, but somewhere. Uh, so I thought rather than going out and buying the kit again, which is more money than what this is, I think this is £1.10, I might as well just do the, the mix at home myself. I know how to make it now. Simple. I wanted some coronation chicken flavoured crisps we little soldiers and everything on they had loads of stuff in there for the coronation honestly from make your own crowns hats pillows throws honestly so much stuff um but yeah we're going to do like i think i'm going to do like a little tea party or something for the coronation because that's what brits do in tea, tea parties you know Probably won't have the cup of tea and the biscuits. Well, she'll probably have the biscuits without the cup of tea. But that's what she wants to do, so. We've got picked up some of them for that. This guy wanted some of these pepper pig yogurts. I think they were just a pound. Some palvita. Um, they were pound twenty-five, I believe. Got some pseudocreme because even though my child is five, she still gets cuts, scrapes, rashes, and I'm not being funny, but if you're a woman, it's also helpful for women, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. If you're a woman, you probably know. Um, it's got a bit of red onion fleck there. That was 2 99 I picked up this, so this is a Pearl & Beauty Quick Dry by Nivea. I don't normally like Nivea products because sometimes they give me like rashes. However, this was 90p. <laughs> probably come out on a rash uh, no but i think i've had this one before and i don't think it affected me so it was 90p instead of one pound 85 i believe so i thought anything just sort of put in my weight bag you know i've got some foil which was a pound can't go wrong with a bit of foil some more baby wipes so i've got an unscented sort of sensitive pack as well so they were again the 70p Brought Scarlet some LOL Surprise um, hand sanitizer for 30p. It says it was supposed to be a pound. I don't know, but why not? Scarlet wanted to make your own crown for a pound, so obviously, this is an activity or something she could do on the day at the coronation or beforehand. Probably beforehand, no, no. Got some strawberries, so these I think were £1.25. I don't know how much these were, to be fair. They might have been a bit pricey than that, to be honest. It's, it's a strawberry. <laughs> I've picked Scarlet Coronation Crown Chocolate Up, which was a pound. Got some cheese strings twisted, which were one twenty-five. I got a white cabbage for 75p. Again, for my coleslaw. Which, by the way, someone mentioned last time that I said cold saw. I didn't say cold saw. I said coleslaw. 
but because of my accent you th you're thinking i'm saying cold sores no cold sores what go around your mouth cold sore is what you eat not that i should have to specify that but yes that is my accent um i've also got some fairy this is apple and rhubarb and honestly it smells divine so we i'm nearly out of my fairy washing up liquid i'll use it until it's run out but um haven't got much left well i have got quite a bit left but it's always nice to have a backup in i hear last thing out of this bag i picked up three of these i don't know where the others are but these were three for one pound twenty so these are just some little bags of apple i asked Gail what she wanted she couldn't decide between strawberries oranges apples you know you know our kids are so um yeah we went with that another bag kokomel Scal got this bag off her auntie oh skylar says she wanted to try crumpets so these were 15p for nine crumpets so you can't go wrong with that can you she wanted to try them and if not i'll eat them because i like a crumpet 125 for more Valvita. I've got some chicken fillet breast portions. So these are the just essentials. But it's £3.41 for three chicken breasts, which this pack in Aldi, I think it's like £4.45, something like that. So you're saving roughly about at least a quid on this, which is good value. I'm not saying that everything is cheaper than Aldi at the moment, but I noticed as I was going around there, it was either the same price a tiny bit more expensive if not cheaper i picked up this so it's a microfiber replacement mop head now i have two seconds this which comes with a brush this mop thing and like a window cleaner thing I was wondering if this would actually fit on to this and it doesn't. No. So it means that I'm going to have to now go out and buy the head, the handle for said mop. But it doesn't matter. I'll let go out and get that. It's just something because I'm noticing I've got a mop bucket. However, I'm tending to use at the moment like the rectangle mop and i'm not, not finding it's doing a good job so i want a new mop I picked up these were 129 for dishwasher cleaning things so these go in once a month i've already done it this month um but yeah so these go in once a month and you get two in a pack so great for keeping the lime scale at bay in that I picked up these, so these are extra special multigrain bagels with sourdough. So these were supposed to be £1.70, reduced down to 85p, and then it was 44p for four of the bagels. I asked Ben if he wanted to try them, he said yes, so we'll see if he likes them. I've got some breaded cod fish, ki fish cakes. So scarlet has been having hot dinners at school just lately, and she's been having fish cakes. So she's willing to try these ones. So I was like, well, if that's what you want to do, babe, you know, that's what we'll do. I also brought Scal some pancakes, so these were 13 thick. Again, these are just more merely like morning snacks and that. I mean, some of them have tomorrow's date on, some of them have today's date on, you know, but the last for a couple of days on me and it's best before isn't it got some mashed potato these are 155 each scarlet and ben prefer these but i much prefer homemade mash really do call me old-fashioned uh it's 75p for this as this essential pepperoni pizza and then i also got this deep pan double pepperoni one which i think was one pound thirty I don't actually know how much the fish cakes were. I think they were only about £1.50, something like that. I've read all the ingredients on the back and it's all okay. You know, you know how you have to do. 
and they also brought these so these are called craft packs so they're basically not aqua beards what are the other ones like iron on beards but i can't think of the name however we have star wars ones now my fellow loves star wars he was doing like little bits of crafts and that with skylar you know so i thought he loves Grogu, he loves Boba Fett, so these were £2 each and if I want to put them up for like, giving them now, Father's Day's coming up, you know, birthday's coming up, which by the way, thank you to everyone who said happy birthday to him, his birthday's not until June, but thank you, <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I just thought for two quid, you know, if you know anyone who loves Star Wars, I think that's a perfect gift. So that is that bag. I'll just show you these drinks as well. So in Asda, you've got three of these for £24, but you can have like, not cherry, I can't speak. You can have cherry, Pepsi Max, you can have normal, you can have lime. I don't know if they do the raspberry one, but they used to do the raspberry one. You can have tango, you know, all sorts of different crates. So we've got two of the normal and one cherry and they were three for £24. So not really a bad price considering how much they are everywhere anyway. Uh, originally they're supposed to be like £10.50 but I think it works out at £8.50, something like that. Oh, this is my last bag and it's rather heavy. This is the bag that really stresses me out when I put my shopping in here. So it's 135 for some peppers, which obviously I told you about those going to do for heaters with. I think this unsmoked bacon was £1.40, something like that. So just chuck in the free in the freezer, sorry, in the fridge. And you know, got bacon there whenever. These are 35p for some carrots. So that's for my coleslaw. More of the apple things for three and three for one pound twenty. I couldn't speak there. I picked up this. So does anyone remember this? Like you used to be able to get it all the time. So it was a cheap disinfectant. Everyone used it. And I said to Ben, I took the top off and I gave smell it. Don't it remind you of your childhood because your nan, your parents or whatever, they'd use it to clean the bins out, clean the patios. If you had dogs and they weed and stuff outside, you'd clean it up with this. Honestly, it was 33p. I had to get it. I've got bins which I clean out regularly. You know, I've got decking that I need to clean down so I can paint. I've got, honestly, so much use for this. It's unbelievable. But yeah, I really do like the smell of it. Call me weird. Sorry, it's going to fall off then. I've got some Flora Light, which is £1.75 for this one. This was a pound, £1.20 for Imperial Leather, Muscle Recovery, Bath Soak, Bergamot and Sea Salt. Now, we, me, Skylar and Ben, we were smelling these in the shop and they were all incredible. Recommend. Well, I haven't had a bath of it yet, but I'll recommend it there. Coca-Cola do limited edition flavour Cokes now and again, and me and Ben like to try them. So, they are healthy. And, yeah. So, this says it's by the artist Rosalia. So, it's Rosalia Creations. It's got no calories in, and it's called Movement. So, I think they were 85p each. No doubt we'll probably have them in like Heron Foods or something, two for a quid or something too. I've got some mint sauce for 85p. My last pack of apples. Coronation Crown for Black Baby. There's a pound for some orange squash. I'm hoping Sky doesn't know that this is a different one. But fruit and barley, some of the fruits juice. Oh no. It's fell out. It's in the bottom of the bag. It's doing it all over the bag. There we go. 
I'll put some solid tape or something on these. Uh, and then we've got some England face paint. These were a pound, I believe. I oh, just realised, oh, we've got half a red there. <laughs> What's going on? Um, but yeah, so that's for the coronation, so we can do like little England flags on her and stuff. And yeah, that has been everything. I was just looking around making sure, you know, as I normally do. That has been everything from this haul. I don't normally spend this much money, so that's why it's taken me a bit longer to show you everything. But yeah, I think that's pretty decent value considering. All them clothes, me food shop, blender, me Pepsi Max cans. I've literally got everything from this one shop. Near enough. I hope you've all enjoyed this video, guys. If you do like my content, please press the like button, share with your friends and family, and please keep on watching. Bye for now, guys.